Okay, new coil packs installed and looking beautiful. The H2 leads are a little bit longer than what I'm used to, so I will end up cutting them down, but I'm desperate to make sure that uh, the bike runs. So yeah, we've got some super long leads, but none of them are touching the exhaust. Let's see if she's a runner. No choke though. Bit of choke. Happy days. So I was worried about the uh, signals from the coil packs as to whether they were in the right orientation. That ran like a champ, didn't it? Something I noticed, wasn't it? Yeah, that's not connected. Up here somewhere should be. Ah, it's longer. So we had a 10 mil nut with a washer that was doing a grand job on the inside. But then on the outside, we had this with a tiny washer. I don't think that washer was quite big enough. <laughs> that might be a replacement for that. Cool. I love this drawer. There's something for everyone in here. Family fun. Oh, look at that top hat. I love these. There's, well, I call them a top hat anyway. Look at the shape of it. Okay, here it is. That is better all the way around. We like it, we're gonna use it. All right, it's gonna take a little bit of faffery. As I get this squeeze between. So far, so good. It's never going to be an original, is it? Oh, what I don't like is this. I don't like it at all. It's like it could undo whenever it wants to. These are old and rusty, so they're not going anywhere. But that new one was like, I could, remember when I undid it, it was so easy. I undid it by hand, but I can undo it again, look. And an old nut. So, the first nut is holding itself on. The second nut will push up against it and it will act like a locking nut. Once they have a little squish together. There you go, I can't undo it by hand. It looks proper nice, it looks in keeping. And now what I'll do is I'll have my Allen key back, thank you. We're looking good. Next stage is to get the fuel tank back on. Yeah, looking more like a motorcycle. Fuel on, check for drips. Tiny bit of choke, ignition. love aftermarket parts look at the droop on that ht lead what am i going to do leave it dangling out so it can rest on the exhausts look at this cylinder got a little pig's tail happening there not good so we've got to do something about it that something is quite painful first of all i've made sure the motorcycle runs Twist the cap off. Try not to drop the cap again. I don't want it too tight because I can't pull any more on it. So I think I'll do that and see how I get on. And the decision is made. Oh, actually sounds quite perky. There's a lot of mechanical noise because it's cold. So the camera picked a lot of that up. Get all the comments now. You need a cam train. Yeah, it's valve noise. It's <laughs> it's crank noise. This is a forty-five year old bike. I feel good or feel bad. Gosh, not brilliant, but also not terrible. <laughs> so <laughs> happy with that. 
Yeah, I'm happy with it. It's okay. But this little pigtail in here, this really needs dealing with. Look at this one. How much longer would you like it to be? Where are we going? Anywhere you want. <laughs> Where would you like a spark plug? As far away as possible. Are we doing this or what? Are we, are we literally doing this? Oh my word. And it's done. Oh, 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 oh. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Does it? See, this side's looking good. I'm happy. What I can see with this HD lead here is a tiny little gap at the top. Right, the other one's doing it as well. That little gap is all it takes for water to ingress. That is all it takes. Splishy, splashy water, bit of rain. So what I will do is I'm going to cut them shorter. But in the meantime, I'd rather run the motorcycle up, put a few miles on it before I cut them back any further. Because I can't wait to run it. Yeah, I haven't put the side panel on because one, I had to glue that sticker back on because it was coming off, the warning sticker. What a shame. Uh, and two, the last job is uh, oil change. I better make the uh, evidence go away. Okay. Don't look too unhealthy. That looks all right. I would like some more of this. Now, what would what would you buy? You buy, uh, and the reason is, look, look how it's cracking along there. Ain't that um, ain't that stuff you buy for uh, car door trim? Yeah? Am I wrong? 